let's see how this goes. I'm gonna try to do a real tour of the coach. Okay, it's a 2005 Country Coach Allure Siskiyou Summit, which is means it's a 42 footer. The tag axles. And it has three pass-through bays. Because everyone wants to talk about storage and this original owner did a great thing about storage and that's what he was noted about at the rallies. They used his this coach, for example, for storage. And subsequently, the years afterwards, the country coach started adding the top shelf, which you see there. And you notice he added the bottom tray or the top tray to this to add more shelving. So you have a lot of shelter tables and chairs and whatever you need in this bay is the propane what's great about this one is that that is the original propane from 2005 and I believe they only use like 13 pounds of it you see the air bleed valves for this air system This bay is where he kept his tools and I'm doing the same. It's another pass-through bay. Oh yeah, the propane does not pass through. So the first bay and this bay passes all the way through. This bay holds 1,100 pounds. This slide Jonesy drawer holds 1,000. Again, he adds his own shelving up top. It's all done by him. He had a huge toolbox on here. And what's cool about it, he gave me a lot of stuff for maintenance wise or for emergency use and the bins the gray bins came with the coach as far as I go for example he gave me another echo charger he gave me all the bay door latches etc the roof AC parts uh, he gave me extra belts because I blow and I have a lot of fuel filters and he gave me a pair and he gave me an aqua hot filter and nozzle and I bought two more so I'm good for like three years there's my little toolbox and all the bins go back there but we'll go on the other side anyhow I didn't put anything on the top tray yet because I have no idea what to do with it I might just put the belts up there who knows here's a pass-through bay I call this the, the one for anything he gave us shades because he did Super glue snaps up top the windshield in the driver's window in case you plan to do a long stay. Again, he adds another shelving to the Jonesy drawer and he added that top piece up there. If you if you are actually here smelling in the storage bays, you could smell it's brand new. Everyone says that. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's 16 years old. This is the Aqua Hot Bay where you get the, uh, my fingers in the way, where you get the instant hot water engine preheat by electric or diesel just change the filter just service this thing there's a water filter we bought the coach it came with all Michelin's all around unfortunately Michelin was on backwater and the Michelin size he put on here were 315's when he bought the coach it came with 12 R22 5's which I put back on there since Michelin was on backwater there's no reason for me taking a gamble if they're going to be there or not this is the tag axle so if you got tandem you got dual wheels here you got tandem i mean you got the tag axle here so you just hit a button and it goes up when you go down the first gear or slow speeds this is the battery tray area and where the inverter is god my fingers always in the way these are for my engine these big lifelines are for the house, so I can go off the grid for three to four days. He put another charger up there for the battery. This is a Procene 3.0 inverter. It'll burst up to 4,000 watts, but steadies at 3,000 watts. Uh, there's my big breaker, circuit breaker box, and the main disconnect, which is there. And all the solenoids and the alarm solenoids here, aqua huts there, blah, 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 whatever. This is the temperature that you set the coach for all the bays these are preheated bays so the coach never freezes the bays never freeze in other words the coach we bought it had almost 81,000 miles and I haven't done anything with the engine literally I just changed the fuel filter and a water separator but look how clean it is he was very meticulous 
Oh, now that makes me look like a liar. <coughs> but you see an exhaust blanket all the way in the back for the exhaust system. With the, they had a problem with that for this year that the turbo system, the exhaust was heating up the inverter and shutting it off. So they sent him a blanket and they modified the wheel well with a fix for the new ducting and electric fan for, for a, with a, that was temperature sensing. And then he added, this should look familiar to you, a vent, an exhaust vent which is remotely controlled almost, I believe it's by temperature setting as well. That'll open up and vent out all the air that's coming out of the battery area. Oh shit, that's a bit hard. I forgot about that, it's fiberglass. There's a country coach thing they no longer make. If you do get one made, it's gonna be 1200 bucks. It is a side radiator. There's the tag. Here's the drive wheels. This is the water bay. There's the exhaust for the aqua hot. Ugh. Here's the water bay. I'm thinking about modifying this and making it all stand seal, but anyways. You got your water levels, battery levels over there. It comes with a macerator that you can dump 100 feet or 150 feet or something away from the coach. It does have a power water hose, so I can go out anywhere because you know when you go to those campsites, the water hookup's really far, depending where you go. And then he's got a, a gray water dump when he went to a lot of NASCAR races to dump the gray water underneath the coach when he was at the track. And the story about the ladder, the reason why... Let's go back there real quick. Why it's missing, the ladder's missing another half is because he's got the racetrack either Talladega or Daytona. And they all went to some person's coach to go have a banquet and he looked back at his coach and some guy was sitting on top of his coach in the chair watching all the NASCAR drivers practice and he was pissed so ever since then he took off the remaining half of the coat uh ladder so this is the water softener and here is the surge protector which takes two minutes and 16 seconds after you connect to shore power uh and here's the other HWH leveling system for the rear, for ride control. Again, he's already modified all this for what he needed. This is the other pass-through for the where the tools are at. Where on this side, I put all the uh, car wash stuff or cleaning the interior stuff for the coach. And this one, he actually made this bay, I believe. I forgot what he told me, but it's extra storage, so we put other mats there and all that other stuff. And this is the other side of the other pass-through bay. And the first one carries a lot, so basically you, this thing carries about 3,400 pounds on all three trays. It's an allure. Here's the driver's bay. I really don't want to pull that up. Here's your HWH stuff. HWH control box. Here's your air compressor for the ride leveling system. This is an air multiplier that came with the coach with a nice price. So I don't need an air compressor. And the air hose, I forgot to show you guys, but he's got another, he's got other shelvings here and we have the extra extension for the 50 amp and an air hose. This is Country Coach's uh, wiring and I want to see show you guys the generator real quick because it doesn't have that many hours for a 16 year old coach look 16 year old it only has 413 hours on it it is a 10,000 watt quad generator. It's the only coach with the air horns mounted in the front like this because typically they're mounted on the front. Notice that's steel. Steel is all the way back there. Here's your windshield washer fluid. It's got two Gerard runnings, one over the door. 
going over the passenger slide and the rest are all carefree manual awnings which is fine by me let's go inside hopefully i have the radio off i got the fantastic fam going because they got warm in here but the original owner he put that there and it's similar to what newell does to their coaches they have a roll around console that goes behind the driver and comes up front and Bonnie wants me to put caster wheels on it this is a real tile floor this is leather the heating elements are in the floor I mean I'm in the chairs excuse me but he's but they took the massager out here's my console there's a panel that comes out and the camera display ship pops up and your navigation does these are the fans for when you have the defroster on, and I see that I have a fly in here. Now, that centerpiece of the cabinet used to have a TV. He took that out because he had a problem watching TV with a bent neck. So he moved the TV over here, but more on that later. Here's the AV unit rack. It originally came with the home theater system. He took that out. And believe it or not, they didn't use the 5.1 surround system, nor the speakers in the back. So these speakers are pretty much brand new on this coach. This is vintage, so I could probably want to eBay get a good dollar for it. But I'm probably going to put the home theater stuff back in because we want to listen to music outside and watch movies. So that's the AV rack. This is his woodworking skills. He took out the blue valence that they come with. This... The uh, interior design is called Blue Moon for this. He made his own magazine rack for his wife. So above the door, you have your generator controls, your battery boost, and you have your slide controls. There are four slides on this coach. That is for the track system that's up top. The Emotion Satellite, basically. And it's the same thing. There's selectors back here you put there, and you left me instructions. Which is nice of them. It does have an MCD shade, uh, but it has lots and lots of storage like all the, like all big uh, motor homes have. Now, I'm going to give you a view from the ceiling treatment because everyone notices that. The white lights you see, they're all upgraded to LEDs, which he did. Originally, the coach came with an ottoman and a recliner. He took that out. He moved the TV here because he didn't want to bend his neck. So... Back then, he couldn't find a televator to fit the TV. This was back in uh, 06, I think. And he built this cabinet, which has all the country work paperwork. And there's a heater in there because this, the, the aqua pot continues through on this side as well. But yeah, you can see how big the country coach manual is. And then subsequently, he's got everything that's part of the coach all here. All the remotes are here. She added touches such as this, this little Velcro attached, but there's a lot of storage on all of this. This is the controls for the slide on this, I mean for the awning for the slide. You can tell that is an LED. This treatment was on, he designed, excuse me, before Country Coach or the other manufacturers decided doing extravagant treatments because before they just had a typical big huge light in the middle that flies annoying me there's his handiwork again there's sconces and here's a Tacoma cabinet which no one's ever used it's all real crystal see me and Bonnie's the only one who touched the crystal and then here's your pull out you can have up to four people Bonnie pulling that out uh, more of his handiwork Here's the mirror, that's me. And then this is a convection microwave that can cook. Ooh, I'm just gonna be clean this one up. Got it, uh, they'll cook cookies typically at 12 minutes and when you put it in that, it takes it four minutes. You can hear the fantastic fan going on right now. This is the only country coach alert that has a dishwasher. They fought for this dishwasher. It does have a three, I think it's three? Three burner, I think so. Has a three burner range, I think. I haven't looked at this. 
Yes, it does. What is this? What is this? Corian? Corian? Whatever it's called? I don't know. Anyhow, I wanted to switch it over to induction, but Bonnie didn't want to do that, but that's fine. Whatever. Because she wants to be able to tap off the propane and cook in here and tap off the propane and cook on the grill outside. Hold on, sorry. Some more storage, of course, here. Everything lights up. And. If you want to know where the point one is, the subwoofer, it's right here. When you get to the intrigues and the affinities and the magnas, it's down here. Okay, all the outlets here are all 110. There's a telephone jack, but whatever. Uh, there's our smoke detector. And you see down there, it's for LP gas, propane. It comes with a residential refrigerator with ice and water but they did not hook it up because they had a bad experience with their American coach. An American coach used to be a manufacturer that made their own frames and everything like that. Uh, just like Country Coach and Newell and all them do. Uh, they got bought out by uh, Fleetwood and Fleetwood got bought out by the Rev Group. Well anyway, as long story short, something happened in the back of the line. It leaked and it had a big a lot of water damage. He wasn't happy about it. But you can see on all these shelves that are very, very deep. Some of the floor plans typically have a cutting board right here. And this whole thing pulls out. Oops. That's short. I think it's where we all the trash out. Yeah. Okay, this is where we have more storage. Of course, you can't see because the lighting looks crap. However, I hope you can see this. There's a combo washer dryer, which you can't wash a lot with. Here's a pull out door, pocket door. Here's a pocket door at the head. Get your lights, throw down here, and you get your stuff for whatever you need. The store. This is an electric toilet. You, don't, you just hit a button, you don't need to hit a pedal or anything. Another fantastic fan, which is up there. I'll show you more on the ceiling treatments in a bit. This locks. This is a tall. Uh, this is a shower. It's really tall. Uh, probably six, 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 seven. It brings in nice light in the morning. But if you can't, if you need your darkness, there's another pocket door to close everything off. This is what what Brian calls the glamour mirror. There's another sink. More storage. See how long the drawers are? You got lots of storage. And this is where you do all your controls. There's a slide. It tells you what I'm running currently. I'm connected. I'm not only connected to the house. This is VMS. That is for uh, your battery system and your temperature system. If you go back in the bathroom, let's say you want to keep the coach a certain temperature, you left dogs in here. You enable this onto the system, which is up front. You set the temperature, and it will turn on the generator and the AC or heat or whatever you need to maintain temperature in the coach. This is for the heated floors. There are two zones on... Oh, excuse me. It's right here. There are two zones. So, I'm in zone two. And zone two ends about here. It's onward back. Zone one goes all the way to the front. And you can tell when you're off the grid because it'll get ice cold on the floor in the morning. Having it 99 or 88 degrees in the morning and walking on it is awesome. Down here, we have the fuse panel. It's just 12 volt for the house, and that's the big 110 for the house. This is where I have all of my information on my inverter, and apparently, we're not drawing anything, but my power is... It's inverting because the refrigerator is on. I have a lot of crap going on right now, so... I'll be turning stuff off. Here's your control for your Hydro Hot. This is the big pocket door. If the lighting bothers you, you just pull this. And you can see how big it is. It's loud, too. But we had this out in Indiana because it was too bright for Bonnie. But look how huge that is. Ooh. 
Let me lock this so don't forget when I drive this thing off. You get lots of storage for your clothes or whatever you're doing. Again, you have your own TV here. This one's actually a smart TV. He put this here, he built this here for a satellite. He's a, he's a, he's a TV nut. Uh, of course, more storage. Oh, I, did I leave that on? Oh, it's on a pin switch. The shelving's in the garage, no inside the house. That table right there is for the steering wheel. So it actually becomes a table because the table comes up, I mean the steering wheel comes straight up parallel to the ground. So it becomes a table and she bought a lamp for it. Talking piece. That headboard he created. There is a window behind there. But he didn't want the window because he's a tall guy. And he took the windowsill out. This piece here kept on hitting his head. So he took that out. And then if I went maintenance on it, I just unscrew it and just take it out. But whatever. There's sconces here. There's more puck lighting. See those? And of course, storage. Lots and lots of storage. And there's a 110 sitting there with my USB thing sitting there. Probably way too fast on that one. Uh, the closet. Did I get you zero? Dizzy. All right. Here's the closet. Let me turn the light on. There's the port for the rear view camera. And here's the closet. Turn that off so I don't forget. Planning to go up Midwest. Oh shit, it's still dark. All right. Get all this room. This houses the 50 amp power reel. Yes, it's. I got a 50 amp power reel that, that winds up by itself too, just like the water hose. What I'm stepping on right now is the engine. So if I need to do change valve cover gaskets or the valve cover breather, whatever, I have to take parts of this floor off. Um, I believe so, and I move the bed towards that window. So he told me. Let's see what the cupboards look like. Very long. Um, I gotta clean this off. She spilled something there. Not Bonnie, the original owner. It's got sconces and very switch everything to uh, LEDs. But here's what the original valances look like. They're blue. And he changed it all the uh, wood. So he's got the same ceiling treatment. And there are speakers back here. Uh, the big, uh, I think, believe the Intrigue or the Infinity and the Magna. They have another five one system back here. Uh, did I forget anything? There's three AC units, three, which means there's three heat pumps. We have the aqua hot for heating. We have the heat pump for heating. We have the heated floors for heating. Most people, what they do is when they're driving, they have the heated floors running when it's getting cold. So, I think this includes our tour. But yeah, this, this thing was one off. It had the special paint on it. It came from the Intrigue and the Magnus and the Infinities, but it had to use the same allure pattern. So the paint changes as per what the environment lighting is. And then, uh, it's pretty cherry, I'm telling you. It smells brand new. I had someone else in here and they were sort of shocked how new it smelt in here. But right now, we're I think we're at... 82,499. So we put about 1,700 miles on this thing so far. It is HWH. I'm planning to put active air on it. Uh, the, there's air, there's filtration systems here. I just pop these off and I just pop this down. It's just a foam thing and I vacuum out. I believe I need to do that. Here's a fantastic fan going. Here's the second AC, and it looks like I do need to clean them. Well, I think that'll do it. But yeah, got it good for a good deal. He was selling it for 145. We got a lot lower than that. It came with four chairs. We just decided to keep the folding chairs here and keep the ones that can't fold inside the house. Uh, oh, 
every country coach or every coach actually has a has a build sheet. The build sheet's always somewhere, like on a new one, it's on the closet. On a country coach, it's on the other side in the bathroom. Right here. It shows you what every what every item that came with the coach. And the serial number and the model number. So this is badass, I'm sorry, but this is badass. Uh the difference between the two chairs is that she's got a footrest on hers that's actually becomes a recliner. She can rest her foot up and there's an entry cover and there's LED lights over there and me, I can just spin around and just have heated seats and recline, but I don't have no footrest. He added the bay door light for all the bay doors because you can manually lock all the bay doors. Keep everyone, with the exception of the propane because federal law says you cannot lock the propane bay. So it does have an alarm. Uh, what else does it have? I think it's all I got on my, off the top of my head. But he's added some features to it, and I'm probably going to continue expounding further on upgrading. I'm probably going to change the radio deck and update it, put Bluetooth and better camera and whatever, and put the home theater stuff back on. Uh, she wants keypad on the door for the alarm. Uh, there's probably something else I'm probably forgetting. I know I'm on the active air list for HWR, HWH for the active air. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to go because Shakespeare's looking at me, Daisy's looking at me, and I don't know where Grizzly's going. You know, Thistle sees me too. This came with a coach to step. $75 step. Can you believe that? There they are staring at me. Are right, you guys have a good day?